Hey, thank you, Vicki. When people think of natural products, they often think of products that are more expensive than their conventional counterparts. But there are multi-purpose natural products that could help you save time and money, and they're healthy too. So Chelsea from the Natural Products Network is here to tell us more about these products. Good morning, Good Chelsea. Good morning. Okay, so I see you have a bunch of products here. What yeah. can we use these for? I'm so excited about this segment. Okay, so first I have apple cider vinegar, right? So you use it in marinades and salad dressings, but you can also use it on your skin. It's antibacterial antifungal and antiviral so it's great for acne it's great for redness I put in a little bit of a clay mask and huh. then I also use it as a tonic when I have mild food poisoning just put a few tablespoons in a large glass of water sip that very slowly you'd be surprised how well that works to settle your stomach yes wow yes. Okay, and I see you have some avocado oil okay, here. Okay, we spend so much money on lotions, right, and leave-in hair treatments. Well, avocado oil can really do wonders for our hair and skin. It's got monounsaturated fat in it. It's got vitamin E. It's very emollient. So I put it on my skin, just, you know, in place of oil, and a little bit goes a very, very long way. And then I also put it through the ends of my hair, too. All right, and how much would something like this cost? Oh, my gosh, you're looking at just about 10 bucks. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. not as much as some of the other lotions. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, and what about this? Peppermint? Okay, peppermint oil, right? It's got menthol in it, and people are using it to rub it on their temples for headaches. They're also using it to make a natural chest rub when they have colds. Now, if you put it on your skin, you'd want to be careful because it can, can be irritating, so check with your doctor. But my all-time best way to use this is to help to lose weight, which sounds interesting, huh. right? Okay. So I just smell a little bit of this when I get... A craving for sweets and it helps it's enough to tide you over yes and I didn't just make that up okay, okay. <laughs> that was, that's not just me people are using it that way and I, I find it really works especially at late nights when you have a cake you know that's sitting there and it's calling it's your name eyeing you. it's okay. eyeing you yeah try this instead just smell just a little bit of it okay and then what about green tea all right so we know that green tea has a lot of benefits for drinking it it's got catechins in it which are antioxidants that help to fight cell damage but beyond that, we can use it as a facial steam. We can also bake with it. It makes these really great um, green baked goodies, especially with St. Patty's Day coming up. Okay. And you can also use it as a dye for clothes, too. Wow, lots of different <laughs> yes. uses for all these natural products. Yes. Thanks, Chelsea. We appreciate it. Certainly. Back over to you.